Why does that asteroid probability keep changing? A few days ago, astronomers announced that the city killer asteroid 2024 YR4 had a 3.1% probability of striking Earth in 2032. That number made headlines, including here at Scientific American, because it's the highest ever recorded for an asteroid of this size. If it were to hit, this roughly football field sized space rock could strike anywhere on a risk corridor that includes densely populated cities like Mumbai, Bogota, and Lagos. It might miss big cities and just crash harmlessly into the ocean or even hit the moon. But wherever it went, whether breaking up in Earth's atmosphere or striking the surface, it would release about the same energy as a detonating hydrogen bomb. Sounds terrifying, right? Well, Here's the twist. Just hours after announcing that 3.1% probability, astronomers got better data, which halved it to 1.5%. Given how these odds keep jumping around, you may wonder if there's really even something to worry about. And the short answer is kind of, but not really. Officially speaking, any asteroid of this size with a greater than 1% chance of striking Earth in the next 50 years is an object of concern. So 2024 YR4 should still be on our radars, but estimates of its impact risk for 2032 will keep changing as astronomers get more and better data to refine its orbit. The risk will probably eventually fall to zero. Right now, 2024 YR4 is already zooming away from Earth, getting fainter and fainter in our sky. It's already past the limit of what most telescopes can see, and by late April or early May at best, it'll fade to black. We're not going to be able to find out more about it and constrain the risk until it comes back around next time, which is in 2028. Chances are, by 2028 or 2032, most of us will have entirely forgotten about this once startling space rock that seemed so threatening. Scientists say there are anywhere between a quarter million to a half million similarly sized space rocks whizzing through near Earth's space, and we haven't cataloged nearly enough to know whether we're really safe. But for now, for this particular asteroid, it's probably okay to breathe a bit easier.